Uh, it's the broker that gratitude guy. Okay, today's topic is called stick with it. Now, what do I mean by stick with it? I was thinking about something yesterday. I just wrapped up a problem I'd had for a long time. Gosh, I would say a dozen years maybe in the making, but I stuck with it and I never gave up on it. And I started thinking about all life's challenges, which is why gratitude is such a great piece to add into your life by being grateful for some of the things that happened to you. Be grateful the fact you can solve a problem. The problem that took me, gosh, oh, maybe a dozen years, I would, I would, to resolve, I would make it akin to a marathon. I ran one marathon a long time ago. And I remember thinking too, I used to talk about breaking down into bite-sized pieces, but the biggest thing is, is to stick with it. There's so many great analogies, so many great values that will come out of sticking with something and seeing it on the other side as you look back on it. I was thinking about if you stopped and did uh, 25 push-ups. They say that push-ups 22, 23, 24 and 25 are as good for you as the first 21 because you stuck with it and you built that muscle along the way. My mom had a great saying. In fact, she had two great sayings. Well, many great sayings, but two that really stuck out to me. One, she looked at me, David, where does it say life's easy? Gosh, I don't know, mom. Is there like a bulletin board she used to say somewhere? Is there a road sign? And she'd also say, where does it say, where does it say life's fair? And the answer is life is either neither difficult nor fair, but it's just the way it is. But we gotta be grateful though we have problems. Because when you think about it, when you really think about it, be grateful you have problems because without life, without problems rather in life, what would you have? And I think kind of the whole goal is to have better problems. When you're younger and you don't maybe have as many resources, you're not really sure what you're gonna be able to spend something on. As you get older, maybe you have a choice between A and B that you get to choose from, but it's a better quality problem. But be really glad that that happens to you because in so many ways, that's how we process things, a piece at a time, sticking with it, going all the way through, making sure that you know somewhere you're gonna see that end in sight. And when you look at that end and you look back, it's never as bad as when you were thinking about it. It's like waking up in the middle of the night. I don't know if this has ever happened to you. You wake up and all these problems are scrambling around in your head. Seems like it's overwhelming. A few times along the way, I've gotten up, written them all down. They never looked as bad on a piece of paper as they did rolling around in my head. So stick with it piece by piece. Remember to be grateful that you've got your life, that you've got problems in your life, especially better quality problems, because it's always gonna be there. Problems will always be there. It's like that first sentence in that book, uh, life is difficult. It is difficult, but at least if you have better quality problems, you're gonna have a good, uh, excellent life figuring out this way and being very satisfied that you got through those hurdles. So stick with it. I just remember recently on my deal, 12, 13 years to resolve this problem. It's behind me now. So that's it for today. Be grateful. Be grateful for your health. Be grateful that you've got problems to solve. And make sure if you pop up top and see the uh, subscribe button, hit that on YouTube if you want to get that daily email that another uh, gratitude message is on the way. That's it for today. Be right in that gratitude journal and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Hi, I'm the broker, that gratitude guy. This is another in the series that I'm doing on gratitude. Now today's topic is the power of gratitude. I mentioned in the previous video uh, about September 29th, 1998 was the day that my wife passed away. Very, very difficult day to say the least. And I started looking for ways to cope. In fact, we live in a world that has nothing but stress, nothing but pressure. We need healthy coping mechanisms. Now, there are many, many unhealthy coping, coping mechanisms. We have drugs, we have alcohol, we have pills, we have all sorts of ways that people try to cope, to try to numb the pain, to get away from the pressure of life, you name it, and they're not very healthy. I talked in a couple of videos ago about a gratitude journal. The gratitude journal has changed my life. It gave me that seven and a half, eight minutes a day to completely focus on what I was grateful for. And if you look what grat gratitude can do, there was a survey recently in the restaurant business where when people put thanks on the receipt that went to the uh, bill, to the customer, the tips were 50% more. When people said thanks on the way in and the way out, and thanks again for coming, I really appreciate it, the average tip went up, the average experience went up. Now, I've been talking about this for years, and it took me almost 40 years to finally get 
together to figure out what I was going to do with my life. And it came to speaking about gratitude and speaking in front of groups and spreading this message and specifically a gratitude journal. But the power of gratitude is immense. And once you start in that gratitude journal, you will see things manifested every single day, every single week, every single month that will be just unbelievable. When you start thinking in your mind about what gratitude can do for you and where it can take you, you won't believe it. So let's remember, please visit thebrooker.com. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on tomorrow's video. And just remember, have a grateful day and don't forget to write in your gratitude journal. Take care.